loving the fact that Fee says it's okay to be fashionably late. Um, I'm appalling with technology. <laughs> Bingo. Rach says I'm here. I must be here. Hooray. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, my word. I'm rubbish with technology. Um, let's do a little turnaround. Mini PT has some nails to show you. Oh, it's going to make everything shake. Hi, everyone. Here we go. She wants to show off her new nails. Little turn around of the hand. Very nice. Bit of something fun. Oh, thanks everyone. <laughs> so how are we all? Are we good? <laughs> Rage is like, hi Gemma. Yeah, hey me. I am appalling with technology. This is my 13 year old um, showing you her nails here. So she is both model this evening and technical support, which is just as well. As judging by the fact that I was fashionably late, that tells everybody that, uh, yeah, I'm not great with technology. Hi Ian. Hi everyone. Fit. I love that, Angela. <laughs> Your nails are fit, Meg. <laughs> Marion Newman's here. Lady Marion, good evening. Oh, guys, I'm going to be... Comp oh, thank you for modelling Mini PT, it says. I am going to be completely honest, but I have got some massive shoes to fill. Um... And normally we have the very wonderful, I know where I have a 13 year old. I like you, Louisa. Thank you very much. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, I've got some massive shoes to fill this evening. Ordinarily, you get the very wonderful Fee Wallace. Um, Jenny's gone live before to present a Lacente launch, which was amazing. Um, but I'm the first person to do a CND launch apart from Fee. And we all know Fee is fantastic. And watching me. Hi. No pressure. Um, <laughs> I've had about 15 wheeze, um, now having a milky coffee, because, you know, why not? Um, just trying to steady my nerves a little bit, really. Not done anything like this before, which is uh, a little bit different. So, hello hello from Holland. We have a hello from Holland going on. This is really cool. Uh, Mini PT is going to be watching on my iPad, actually, if we can find my live. Where are we? And then hopefully she'll be able to read some messages from you all this evening. And... There's always a little bit of delay from when you post to when it comes up on my screen anyway, so hopefully she'll see it a little bit more um, real time. This is if I can find my live on the uh, on the iPad. Here we are. Have a little browse, Meg. See if you can find the live on Sweet Squared's page. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, hello from Milton Keynes. <laughs> Just down the road, not too far. Oh, hi Della. Yeah, so she's going to put this live up Woo, with no sound. Thank you. I don't need to hear myself in the other ear. That's never good. Um, and then, yeah, she'll be able to tell me what you're saying, stuff like that. Because as soon as my camera flips down to the nails, I won't be able to see you anymore. I really don't need to see myself on that camera. It's never a good thing to see your own face, is it? Good evening, Amelia. How you doing, everyone? Oh, and there's my mum. Say hi to uh, Mama Scratch, everyone. Edwina Penfield's my mama. <laughs> I'm Gemma, it's Hannah from Wales. Yeah, tell me where you're from, everyone. Why not? Have we got anyone from the Midlands? Kate Fisher's on. She's only down the road. She's one of my clients. So she'll be watching and probably heckling. Please don't heckle me, Kate. I've got enough to uh, think about this evening. But yeah, I've got uh, very big shoes to fill. Uh, the lovely Fee Wallace is getting a night off which I quite frankly think is really rude, um, but it does give me the opportunity to chat to you all and it's a great distraction um, because in 35 hours time I'm going into hospital. So those of you who've trained with me before, uh, hello, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future but I'm not going to be teaching through the summer. Um, it's a bit of a big op so I'll be out of action till about August, um, September time. Uh, but once we're back I'm really looking forward to it. Got a hi from the Midlands, yay Midlands. <laughs> Hi from Brighton. Lisa Glover, who's also from the Midlands. Lisa's a colleague of mine. She's over in Nottinghamshire. Um, Samuel Sweet's watching. Meg's just pointed out. The boss man's on. Better behave myself then. No swearing. Hey, look, I've done. How long have I done so far, Meg? Does it tell you how long I've been on? Oh, that just tells you how many views I've got. Yeah, you get to see how long I've been on. See how long I managed to go without swearing. There was a very brief video earlier, which was me trying to log in. Um, and broadcast a live and I was logged in as myself which wasn't great 
Um, there was quite a bit of swearing on that <laughs> with me going wrong. So uh, I did delete it quickly, but anyone who was on live, sorry. Oh, Samuel says he's here to see me rock it. That's nice. So yeah, we've got lots to look at today. Um, we've got all the new colours, which is amazing. I love a bit of summer. And I really think these have got an amazing festival vibe to them. So that's where I've gone with them. There's obviously loads of other things you can do. I can't wait to see what everyone else has in mind. Uh, hi from Bristol. Hello. Oh, look, Marion Newman's got Gypsy on her toes and it is the best. Marion, Lady Marion, you are in great uh, company. Mini PT loves Gypsy. It's her fave. And actually, probably the first look we'll look at is something that she's been rocking on her fingers for a few weeks, which has been on social media this afternoon, which was Gypsy with some offbeat ombre down. So I think we've all seen that this afternoon. Oh, Jo Trick's saying she saw my video with me effing and jeffing because I couldn't get it to work and I thought I was in a sweet squared. Whoops. <laughs> oh, Mini PT's now totally distracted seeing all the people logging in like, I know that one, I know that one. Oh, Fee's saying Gypsy for the win. Fee, I'm wearing green. It's to channel my inner Fee. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, so hopefully some of you saw my posts this afternoon and saw some of the nail art that I'm going to show you this evening. I obviously won't get time to do everything. There's a few others on here as well that I didn't show. Um, but yeah, just really wanted to give you a little sneak peek to see where I've gone with it. And um, yeah, I think kind of the overwhelming response so far has been that everyone wanted to see that first nail with the gypsy, with the um, ombre and offbeat. So yeah, look at Fee with her green hearts. Anything green and Fee's there straight away, hair included. I'm more purple, but you can't see it in this light. Okay, I think we've got a reasonable number of people logged in now. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a look at the colours, first and foremost. So I'm going to turn the camera down. It means you don't have to look at my face anymore, which is only a good thing. Um, I'm going to finish off my coffee very casually and craftily while you're not looking as well. And, um, yeah, we're going to look at the new colours. But I will, before we do any of that, so that I can swig the last of my coffee, just show you the whole... Uh, sort of row of, of different designs I've done which are the ones that we posted this afternoon and a few others as well okay little tilt where the bracket goes horribly wrong let's turn that round so we'll have to just fiddle with the camera for a moment make sure everyone's happy that they can see everything whoop got this lovely wedge of foam under here but it is at an angle so let's not tip everything off the desk because that would not be a great start and we just see lots of laughing emojis going across the screen. There we go. How's everyone's view? Are we looking okay? Oh, there's some loves, there's some shock faces. I hope those are good wow, I love them faces rather than shock horror faces. <laughs> I'm seeing some of my lovely clients logging in as well. Good evening, Viv. Love you lots. <laughs> Oh, thank you. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to talk you through these really quickly, then we'll look at the colours, and then we'll get on to some nail art, because I can gab on for Britain, uh, which, even those of you who've never met me, you've probably worked that much out in the first five minutes. Are you getting a midnight launch? I'm going to let Rachel pick that one up. Um, Rachel's on for Sweet Square this evening, everyone. Please send some love hearts up for Rachel and say hi. She's going to be answering questions that I perhaps miss because I'm too busy painting. And uh, yeah, well, the comments are covering the pops. All right, let's see if we can move the camera for you a little bit. Let's just see. Is that better, everyone? Can you see them a bit better now? Hey, Jenny. Fashionably late, darling. So was I. I tried to go live. Did a horrible job of it, ended up live as myself, swore quite a bit and then deleted it, chick. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's my swearing out of the way and I won't do it on camera. There we go. So someone's saying very, very helpfully that you can swipe right to get rid of the comments from your screen so that you can see the full screen. That's really helpful. Um, but hopefully where I've moved those two now, you can see them better anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, some really nice comments. Great stuff. So we have here then 
Um, you'll see some of them are labelled. That's just labelled with the base colour, the first colour that I painted onto the pop. And then I was too impatient to paint some new ones and uh, literally grabbed those, filed them round and did some uh, nail art on. So we have here first and foremost Gypsy um, base with our offbeat ombre. So I'm planning on showing you that one this evening. This one here, like an ombre stamping with an uninhibited base. So we're going to look at that too. This is Mini PT's nail. So this is using reverse tamp stamping technique. Who saw Leanne's reverse stamping video recently? Did we see that? <laughs> Rach is chuffed to get a mention. Rach totally deserves a mention. These things would not happen without Rach. <laughs> okay, so this is, yeah, reverse stamping technique that Leanne covered, um, but I'm going to cover as well. And I've done it in, in my Mother's Day video, if you saw that too. Um, that's on my YouTube channel for anyone who wants to have a look at it. I was absolutely horrified when that went up. Poor Rachel, the day she had to post that. There were tears, tantrums. I just hated the sound of my own voice, so Lord knows why I agreed to this. <laughs> Here we go. Here's Famous Gypsy, as seen on the feet of the very fabulous Lady Marion Newman. Okay, so that's a bit of Gypsy with some stamping and some foil there. We then have this, which again was seen this afternoon, another reverse stamping technique. We have viewers in the Netherlands, hi. Okay, so reverse stamping's a real favourite of mine because it's something that's super, super simple. I am no Fee Wallace, I am no Jenny Smith, okay? I'm gonna hold my little hands up to that. I am famously known as the Spa Girl. Um, I love natural nails and natural nail care. I adore enhancements as well, but my specialism, if you like, really is to do with treatment and um, spa treatments. I trained in holistics. That was my level three rather than beauty. So for me, yeah, that, that's, that's where I like to go. But that does mean that the art that I'm showing you this evening is, if I can do it, you can do it. It's really simple and really straightforward. Okay. This one here is some uh, hand painting, okay? So we went in with a Vagabond base, and then, yeah, some different hand painting. Some of it's using the Vina Lux um, of this particular collection, so we've got a little bit of offbeat there, a little bit of uninhibited and gypsy, but the rest is all done in creative play. It's really highly pigmented, has a slower drying time than Vina Lux as well, so it's great for hand painting, and you get a really nice finish on it, okay? So that was a bit fun. If anyone does decide they want to see any of these, not that I'm so arrogant to presume that you will, um, I am going to have a bit of time on my hands where I've just got to sit very still and heal after my surgery. So I'm pretty sure I can throw together some step by steps that might keep me still and out of trouble. Okay, I've got some more holistic therapists on here as well. This means we give our clients a bit of extra love, everyone. <laughs> Okay, now this one I wasn't actually going to include. This is my go-to favourite little effect. You'll have seen me perhaps demonstrate this at shows. I've done it to death, I think. Um, but that doesn't mean that some of you might not want to see it. Um, Rach is yaying my step-by-step, -step, so that gives her more to do. <laughs> but the, uh, this technique here is just something I really love. When I went on boot camp originally back in 2011, I had to... Um, submit we all did nail art designs and I actually won best nail style with this so I did it in lots of sugary pinks and called it strawberry ripple but this rippling technique is just lovely um, now this one ended up getting painted the other night because I had a little dummy run of doing a live video to make sure it all worked okay um, just in a private group with my CND sisters so they could all have a laugh at me uh, there was some swearing there was some singing and there was some humming <laughs> We've got Jo saying she'd like to see this one. Okay, we'll see. If we get time, then absolutely. And if not, then again, it's something I can put together, um, perhaps a video, and stick that on my YouTube as well. All right. And we'll get that shared, that YouTube address, at some point. So you know where to find me. And then finally, just another one, offbeat. A um, little bit of glitter, faded down. And then, oh, I love Fee. She does design beautiful plates. And this one you might recognise with the little leaves on it there. Yeah, so that one is from, I think it's from your Twisted Garden one, isn't it, Fee? 
Is that from Twisted Garden? I love Twisted Garden. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's where those little leaves came from. Quite like those. That was just an extra little play I had earlier. All right. But the ripple was in the original Art and Styles class. Jenny, it was. When we did the original Art and Styles class, um, as educators, we all put content together, didn't we? And recommended different styles that we thought were great. And yeah, that one did make the original Art and Styles class. But that was a good few years ago. Good few years ago. So who's ready to see the colours? We're going to get some love for the colours. What? Which colour does everyone want to see first? Well, we've got a particular favourite that we've all been looking forward to seeing. I'm waiting for this. <laughs> Mini PT's doing a little hand dance on the other side of the table for Gypsy. Yeah, this one here. <laughs> That's only one coat, so that doesn't tell us anything. Yeah, we want to see Gypsy first. Okay, so Gypsy is amazing. This is Gypsy in shellac and in Vinylux. It is completely different to any other orange we have and I absolutely love it. It's a real, we're going to say tangerine. Do we agree with tangerine? I think we agree with tangerine. So here I have my pre-painted colour pops. Does everyone remember when we got the dog tags as a free gift at some point, the CND dog tags? Do you remember these? Yeah? Well, my colour wheel got so big that I made a colour necklace and I now have a dog tag colour necklace. So we have clients that pop that round the neck and sit in shoes. Um, but it just means I'm not going to run out of space for my polishes at any point. But just to give you some colour comparison on that, I've put it into my colour wheel. We have Fine Vermilion here, which of course is no longer available, but still I have it here. Electric Orange, there's Gypsy and Mambo Beat, and then we go into our Jelly Bracelet, Tropics, etc. So you can see it's completely different to its neighbours. Completely different. And it really is a tangerine. You like it? It's zesty. It really is zesty. Okay, it's absolutely stunning. I can paint these onto clear colour pops if people want to see the opacity of the colours. I'm happy to do that. Um, or would we rather have more time for nail art? Because I'm very, very happy to sit here and paint some clear colour pops. I know Fee's done it in the past. Some of you have enjoyed it. Uh, what's it like in comparison to a salmon run? It's a great question. Thank you for that one, Sarah. Let's just grab the other side of my wheel where all my lovely peachy tones live. Salmon run. Here we go. We're going to be amazed. It's very different salmon run. So there's Gypsy, there's salmon run. Worlds apart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's it like compared to Desert Poppy, says Hannah. Well, Desert Poppy was not far from it on the wheel. So that's easy, easy to show you. So there's Gypsy, Mambo Beat, Jelly Bracelet, Desert Poppy. Yep, so this is Desert Poppy here. And this is your Gypsy. Completely, completely different. Paige is in Alaska and she's saying nail art. Gemma say nail art. Kathy say nail art. You're so right. <laughs> we need to spend lots of time on nail art and not painting uh, our colour wheels. Okay, I'm so glad you don't want me painting clear colour pops. Mind you, that would be easy stuff, wouldn't it? There's less to go wrong with that. But yeah, okay, more time for the nail art, that's good. So that's Gypsy, we happy we've seen that compared to the others? Yeah, completely different new shade. Can I compare it with Electric Orange? I did, it was right next to Electric Orange on my wheel. So I did show that, perhaps I didn't make it clear at the time. Here we go. That's Electric Orange, that's Gypsy. All right. I know when we get new launches, there's always that um, concern of, is it going to be the same as this? Is it going to be the same as that? I can promise you that absolutely, this is a very different color. This is not what we have on the color wheel. We've had a request, is it the same as Shells in the Sand? No, it really isn't. Okay, Shells in the Sand is much more peachy. I'm actually gonna say as well, that they always look even more different to each other to how they do on the screen. I don't know how that works. Um, yeah, Desert Poppy can look red when you're on a screen. There's there's so many that look different. The most difficult one for me to show you this evening is actually going to be Offbeat. I've painted Offbeat, held it against other colours in the range. It looks completely different. And then when I try and take a photo or stick it under camera, it goes red. Um, offbeat 
Well, should we go to offbeat now? I think that's probably a good idea. Offbeat is absolutely not a red. Um, I know it looks red, but to me, it's not a red at all. So this is it in the bottle, which instantly looks red under camera. Probably not so much in Vinylux. Okay, so if we look at the Vinylux a little, can we see it's more of a desert rosy shade? Just as I trip over my words, Mrs. Samantha Sweet logs in. Good evening, Samantha. Okay, so we have here this beautiful kind of terracotta-y toned desert rose. It really is like, I would say its nearest uh, relation is going to be lobster roll. If we take lobster roll, this is more pinky. Lisa says it's her favourite. Everybody knows this is going to be my favourite. Okay, I am Miss you know, red, and I, I love lobster roll anyway through the summer. Last year I had a dalliance with mambo beet, but normally lobster roll is my go-to colour in the summer. I'm guessing that's the case for a few of you. Um, but in the case of offbeat, I mean, it's going to be phenomenally popular. It really, really is. Got people saying they can't wait for the collection. I, I completely understand it. I got them and I was so, so, so excited. Um, but yeah, this one here is you know, the one that unfortunately is photographing up red, very, very, very difficult to uh, compare, you know, to others on, on a photograph because poor Fee has the hardest job in the world. She will try and photograph and put it next to others for colour comparison. And annoyingly enough, it, it does look so similar to other colours in that, but it really is a different tone. So if you've got lobster roll fans amongst your clients, then they're going to absolutely love um, Offbeat. Okay, which colour do we want to see next? We're going in for Vagabond, our Sandy Blonde. Or we've got, finally, our um, Uninhibited. We want to see, I, I think, the most different colour we've had for a very, very long time, along with Gypsy, is going to be Vagabond. So I'm going to bring that one in now. Okay. Again, this, when it photographs, annoyingly enough, comes up yellow. All right, it is not it's not yellow okay I love the way people are now going seven weeks Samantha tut tut yes Samantha really truly seven weeks is too long too long whip it off get it redone yeah <laughs> I, I so it's so safe to have a word with my boss and tell her off when I'm behind a screen this is really great this is really liberating what else can I do when I'm behind a screen <laughs> Good evening, Amanda Gould. Amanda Gould is my CND wife. Yes, yeah, Samantha, on toes, but truly still, they can get switched up a little bit more often than seven weeks. Come on. Okay, so we have here Vagabond. Vagabond, um, I haven't actually put on my colour wheel with the yellows, which, you know, that's a, that's a bit of a, a shocker, really, isn't it, to most of you? So my yellows are here on my colour wheel. All right. And we have jellied sun bleached, honey darling, um, bicycle yellow and banana clips. The nearest it's going to be, I suppose, is honey darling, but it really isn't. It is, I know Fee has been telling you all it is a sandy blonde and she is right. It is much more blondy than say honey darling. Can we see that? So Rachel's saying she's got no, no yellows in her collection. Um, Vagabond really is, it's more of a cream and it's a difficult one to place. Sandy or Sandy Blonde is a really good description. In fact, Mini PT looked at it earlier and of course she doesn't read everything that I'm reading online. And she said, oh, I like this one, it's really sandy. So yeah, it is, it is, it's quite, it's quite a sandy tone. Mini PT, you just knocked the table. She's now got her hand over her face, everybody. She's been warned that that is, that is the big sin for this evening. Okay, but yeah, you can see. Now, Vagabond, I won't lie, this isn't going to suit every skin tone. It doesn't suit mine, but I have put it over several people that it looks absolutely stunning on. Um, I'm just not one of the blessed, unfortunately. There are always going to be colours that suit you more and less, and yeah, this one... It's not going to be great for me on its own. Having said that, it makes an amazing base for nail art. So two of the looks that I've done here have used a Vagabond base and they would look great on me because they were introducing other colours as well. Emma's saying she'd say vanilla. Emma, 
you win the prize. I don't know what the prize is, but you can have a gold star. That's a really good description. I'd say it is more of a, a creamy vanilla-y colour than a yellow. Is everyone happy with that one? Yeah? All right. <laughs> oh, Gab Abby came up with Sandy, did she? She's right, although to be fair, my lovely 13-year-old mini PT came up with that one too without any prompting. So just a quick word to the wise. In a few years' time, when she's a little bit older, oh, Samantha's now seen the nail tips. <laughs> in a few years' time, when, uh, when Meg's looking for a job, Samantha, just bear that in mind, Meg came up with Sandy automatically as well. Okay, for Samantha's benefit, I will just share those tips again in a little while. Vanilla cream page, we like that. Yeah, vag vagabonds of vanilla cream. Great, great description. Okay, last but not least, we have uninhibited. Okay, so this is our peachy tone. Who loves a peachy tone in the summer? Yeah. A mini PT's got a hand in the air. <laughs> oh gosh, someone said that vagabonds like Cornish ice cream. Please don't make me hungry. Please, please, please. <laughs> Keep them at the top. There you go. Better Samantha? Thank you. <laughs> How pretty is this? Yeah, as Fee says, it's an absolute stunner. I think someone said earlier, if you are struggling to see anything at any point, because there are comments in the way, um, you can swipe right, apparently. The comments all zip out of the way. Oh no, the tips. You want me to put the tips at the top. This is because Samantha is being impatient, everyone, and can't possibly wait. She wants to see them now. That's allowed. Okay, so. Can I squeeze them all in, Samantha? Probably not. I'll give it a whirl. How's that looking? where I can't get them to sit still but we'll give it a whirl can we see those yeah all right da, 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 da. <laughs> yes capital letters <laughs> okay have I used any of the new colors to stamp with yet um Angela you're completely right creative play would be my go-to normally for stamping it's uh, heavily pigmented slower drying time but have I used this particular collection for stamping? Yes, yes I have. So I have used three of them here for this one. So I don't know how well you can see that. Can we see that? It's meant to be a subtle look. So we have an uninhibited base with offbeat, gypsy, and then round here, just fading out, is our vagabond. Okay, now I'm not going to say you don't have to work quick. You do, because Vinylux is amazing. It's a fast drying polish. That's what we love about it. But that does mean if we're going to stamp with it, we've got to work fast. So what did he miss here? Good Lord. I don't even want to know what he misheard. Honestly, I'm doing so well not swearing that if someone's misheard me as saying something rude, then it's probably just some kind of... He's picked that straight out of my head. So anyway, going back to this... <laughs> You do have to work quickly if you're going to stamp, but they are pigmented enough for sure. You can see, yeah. Always difficult under artificial light, but all the detail is there if you look really closely. Okay. Anyway, I have gabbed on for like 40 minutes already and done nothing. Oh, tips. Now I could go into the various things that I've said in a classroom before now. Um, that have come out really, really badly. But let's just say that the one occasion when I said to a girl she needed to grab her nippers, um, it didn't necessarily come out as nippers. I didn't live that one down. I did try initially to carry on with my, uh, my, my class and then I stopped and looked up and said, I didn't get away with that, did I? And we all just fell about laughing. So if anyone logs in that was on that class, just, you know, remember that you love me because... I am nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't always get my words right. I'm going to blame the fibromyalgia. You get brain, uh, brain fuzz. Try and shade the light with my hand. Okay, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to turn the light a little bit. I'm going to blind mini PT. I'm going to blind you, Meg. It's just tough. How does that look? Oh, to see the stamp? Yeah, but I think it might be better for general lighting purposes. Let's see what you all think. We go in here now. I've taken the light out of the equation. Can we see this any better? There we go. Knocking my camera, mind you. Can we see that better? Yeah. 
All right. Are we good? Brain burps, says Jenny. Jen, you and I were cut from the same cloth, love. Okay. So we're actually going to get some nails done because honestly, me sitting here gabbing away is all wonderful. But all I've shown you is some colours at the moment. I'm going to be honest though, you're just loving the colours, aren't you? What a great nail model she is. Seriously, this girl, how beautiful are her hands? She does have this strange bump here that she's massively conscious of, but that's just because she works really hard at school. You've managed to get fluff on these, however, Meg. I'll slap you later. I listen to her whispering. Sorry, did you hear that, everyone? Sorry. I promised I wouldn't get fluff on them, Mum. <laughs> so I put a first coat of colour on. Yeah, we're, we're going to ignore the pen bump. No one needs to look at the weird bump where you hold your pen funny. Okay. <laughs> we have just one coat of colour on these at the moment. Um, I've got a cream puff one here just simply because if we do get round to it, I will aim to show you what Mini PT has on her other hand. I've just realised Samantha has not yet seen Meg's nails. So this is a little nail art look that she's wearing. And this is what she's going to be wearing for the next few weeks. Nothing like pointing out the insecurities. Ah, if I hadn't done it, she'd have done it for herself. It's all good. This is like progressive parenting. It's all fine. We've all got a pen bump. It's true. It's just not necessarily on this finger, but that's fine. That means she's special and important and a little bit different. Okay. So I'm going to start out with, because otherwise I'll be gabbing all evening and nothing will be getting done, this look here which, as it says here, is a gypsy base. I've already got one coat on this middle finger, so I'll just put another coat on. Died and gone to heaven, they're stunning. I love you all, honestly. This is not my niche, guys, so happy days. Seriously, if you end up uh, wanting to try any of these, if I can do them, anyone can. Now, I'm happily just picking bits of fluff off here with my gloved hand. Please ignore my horrible child's uh, fault. Getting fluff on her one coat of colour. Okay, so let's just get another coat of colour on these. I'm going to try and not have my hand shake too much. I did have a nerve calming coffee and about three wees before we started this through nerves. It's because I had the uh, very awesome Fee Wallace's shoes to fill. Oh, Meg, bits of fluff. Fluff is not our friend, is it, everybody? Okay, let's pop that one into the lamp for me. That's lovely. We've had no questions so far. Not, not, not about the nail art design. Does everyone know how I'm going to go about doing this? How are we going to achieve it? There's always fluff. There is always fluff. It's when someone turns up with an Angora sweater on. Those are the clients that we just look at and think, really? Did you really think this through this morning? Angora sweater. Yeah, has everyone worked out how this one's coming together? saying there's always fluff. There is always fluff. Right. So the lovely lady that said don't be nervous, you are fabulous. I'm going to make this out, uh, point this out right now. It's my best friend. So uh, thank you, Cathy, for pointing out that I'm fabulous. It's actually your job to say that as my best friend. Okay, now we're going to uh, achieve our little ombre fade here. All right, I'm going to use shellac in offbeat. Sarah Mar's logged in. Good evening, Sarah Mar. Some of you will have seen us misbehaving on the Moroccan tan stand over the years. Okay, so I'm just going to paint this as if I were going to paint the nail from the base and come down, but I'm only going to go to about halfway or thereabouts. We don't need to be particularly neat with this, which works very well for me. Makes it more viable in salon. 
It's nothing like a complicated nail art look that's not going to be uh, working in a salon environment, is there? It's not great. We're going to sponge. I am using shellac. Now, if there were a risk I was going to get some on the skin, um, I would mask off the skin. But I've got a nice sponge here that I'm just tearing a small piece off. I could use my gloved hand if I wanted to. I've actually got some really awesome angled tweezers. How cool are these? They're fantastic for picking up little tiny embellishments. If you make your own, um, if you're doing some reverse stamping, you make your own decals, they're really good for that. I have asked Maria to look at developing some of these, just saying. I'm gonna remind her now. There we go, if I get all of you lot on her back as well, she might do it for me. Maria, we'd like some uh, tweezers, please. Angled tweezers, mine are a bit old and past it, a bit like me, so that'd be great. Okay, I'm going to get my sponge, probably a big piece of sponge actually, let's go for a smaller piece, there we are. Is it any special sponge? No, nope. not at all. We're just going to press to blend that into place, to make sure that we're not putting any wet shellac sponge onto the skin. Okay, we can turn it round. A dry piece. Does everyone see okay? Am I in shot? Mini PT is being very good. This is the most quiet Mini PT has been for a very long time. Okay. There we are. Okay. If I wanted to, I could add some more colour in, I can blot a bit more out, I can do what I need to do. You've got plenty of time to play with this because it is shellac. But like I say, if I did think I might get in a mess and get some on the skin, I would have masked the skin off. But as it is, you know, we've been very careful in how we've painted it and we're just blending a little tiny bit. So that one can then go into the lamp, that's lovely. And the great thing about that being a cheap little bit of sponge is it goes straight in the bin. <laughs> Nothing for me to clean up. Okay, now the stamping plate that I've used for this particular design is one of Sasha's plates that actually I have to say so many of these are really appropriate for this range I think. Um, absolutely loved her so I was looking through my little collection and we've got my uh, Mandala Mania the one that we've used here is Gorgeous Gypsy Shapes in Symphony they would all be really fantastic with this collection I think they really lend themselves to that kind of gypsy festival vibe little boho chic vibe going on some of these plates that I really liked to use with this collection were Twisted Garden Mindful Mandala of course fantastic plate for this and then there was, yeah, the Yours Love CND. I was looking at a few sections on here. There was one that Dee did as well that I really liked, and I thought you could pick sections out. So there's all sorts that I was looked at and inspired by, um, but this one in particular, with these amazing feathers, was just fantastic. Okay. Now, I, as we said earlier, for stamping, I do love creative play. Okay, so we've got black and forth here. You can see that. Okay, so I'm going to just clean my plate with some scrub brush. Now, the stamper that I'm going to be using, just so that I can place clearly, is the Yours Stamper. I have two um, that I use for different things. One has been well abused and cleaned with scrub brush, naughty naughty. Okay, and one is a newer one lovely clear one that we can see through so beautifully now I quite like my naughty one that's gone a bit blurry because I just like the texture of the surface um, my new one I'm looking after very well and being a good girl and I actually clean that one with a lint roller I also clean the old one with a lint roller now as well so I have learned the error of my ways the lint roller being my very useful piece of kit okay but let's get some black and forth. Let's pick up part of this design ready for Mini PT's nail. We've just taken this off her nails, so I'm putting it back on one. Okay. 
There we go. Simple pass and pick up. Don't know how well you can see that on there. Okay. Um, we've spoken a few times, quite a few of us, about stamping and how to get really great results. Um, I really do think don't press too hard when you're picking your design up. Go easy on it. If you push too hard, you can almost smoosh it out of the little etching into the plate. It just somehow doesn't pick up as nicely. So quickly and with not too much pressure is my advice. Okay. Now you'll notice on this design here, we've got a different colour in the background of the feathers. And for that, I've used Vagabond. So I'm just going to take some Vagabond Vinylux. Just cleanse the lid. I do use a white tile quite often, but for the purposes of this evening, I'm just going to grab my lid from my Halo Stamper. Okay, and I'm going to use the Lacente D2 brush. Okay, just because I love all the Lacente Detailer brushes, this one just happens to be to hand. And we're going to pick up some colour. Just place it on. So this is a bit of reverse stamping, just painting by numbers almost. It's like colouring in. Could we use shellac for this? Um, I wouldn't use shellac for this. I suppose you'd have no. I don't think that would work. Uh, simply because I want this to be dry. So the nail that I've just cured will have our tacky film to it and this particular coat will be dry okay and then we can stamp it straight down I've actually gone in with my black a little bit too soon on that so it has smudged I don't know if you can see that under there it's best to make sure that your black is dry okay I do have um, occasions where a client's chosen a design like this and while their colour coat's curing, I'm prepping these already so they've got time to dry. So if we're stamping onto a wet surface, like a tacky layer of shellac, um, it's best to stamp a dry coating onto there. If we're stamping a onto a dry surface, obviously like Vinylux, then you would need to wet polish. You'd need to work a little bit faster. Uh, so I do love to work onto shellac using Creative Play or Vinylux. Okay, so a little peep. There we go. And the beauty of the Halo Stamper is I can see exactly where my design is going to go. So take this one here. Okay, and we decide which part of it we want to use. Can we see that okay? Yeah. And then we're just going to press down onto the nail. Just make sure that's transferred okay. Now these loose pe part bleh, particles of the pieces here, I knew I'd lose my teeth at some point. I'm just going to press those down with our G1 brush. I do love my Lacente brushes. And then my favourite tool in the world is a precision probe. Okay, now on your curette, if you have a curette probe, the opposite end is this little tool here. But it just means I can break those little pieces away so that I get a nice seal all the way around. I can actually remove this piece altogether that I don't need on this side. Okay, now the set that you'll have seen, could I use Creative Play for the yellow? Absolutely, yeah, of course you could. The reason I'm showing with um, the Vinylux today is simply so that when you've got your new collection, you know exactly how to use it. Uh, this particular design, of course, you know, we're, the, we're using Vagabond. Vagabond is more of a creamy colour rather than a yellow, uh, which is what I want to achieve. But yeah, you can use all sorts of colours for different things. You could use Creative Play in all manner of ways. The reverse stamping look that Meg has on her other hand is done very similarly. So we've picked up a black design. We've used some Creative Play. We've used some Vinylux. Um, both absolutely fine for this. And it works in the same way. Okay. I'm then going to go in with our shellac matte top coat, just because I think it really suits this look. It 
yeah you'll notice when I had the image that I put online uh, on my Instagram and Facebook earlier that I've made each nail slightly different I like to do that anyway I just think if you are going to have art on your nails that's been done professionally um, then better to have each nail handcrafted slightly differently rather than having cookie cutter nails every single nail looking exactly the same because then it could just as well be some peel off stickers that you've got from somewhere it just doesn't look like the hand has been crafted to all be complementary it's just my personal opinion um, but yeah I think you can have a lot of fun and be creative with doing a full coverage nail doing another nail that has a certain section um, covered Melissa Finch has just logged in. Hello, Melissa. Melissa and I were on boot camp in San Diego together in 2013. So, hello, my lovely friend. I hope you're well. So, yeah, that's that one done. Put it here for now, but she'll be out in a second. What do we think? We like this one? Super easy, huh? Probably easier than you all thought. Ah, oh, Melissa, you need to come and visit me. I've told you this before. Come across. Fly across to the UK. Get into Birmingham. I'm not far from there and I'll come and pick you up. You're welcome any time. Okay. Hannah, I'm so glad you're finding it inspiring. I'm really, really pleased. Blend off a sticky film and wait for this to go matte. I love watching this. Never gets old. There we go. Get some shiny and we just watch it evaporate. Beautiful. How many times have we used the matte top coat, put some oil on and then clients have gone, oh no, you've made them all shiny again. Yes, yes, when you wash it off, <laughs> it goes back to being matte. Okay. Um, right, I don't know which way to go next really, so I've got two options for you. Let's let everyone vote one or two, shall we? That sounds like fun. So, option one is uninhibited, this little stamp design that we've done here. Okay, that's our first option. And the other is a vagabond base, oh, excuse me, knocking the camera. Okay, which is our ripple design, which I had no intention of doing tonight, but the girls the other night said, Gemma, you need to include that one. So let's go with one or two. And let's see what everyone says. What do we want to see next? Okay, a couple of those for option two. One for option one. <laughs> oh, it's going to be an even split now. I will try and get time to do both. <laughs> okay we're slightly leaning towards two yeah there we go <laughs> all right okay we'll do option two now then i'll do option one and then do you know what i'll probably be here until midnight it's all good <laughs> okay so for this one we're using um the shellac we're going to use all four of our new shellac so it's great fun it does require just a steady hand and a bit of patience um, but yeah, it's it's a fun technique. I love it. So I'm going to go in with our second coat of Vagabond. Again, ignore the fact that Minnie PT has got fluff on her nails. We love her for it. Earlier she was laughing at me because she goes live on Instagram all the time and talks to all her friends. And I think she just thought that I was a bit ridiculous when I said, I'm going to go and have another wee. I'm going to make myself a coffee. She looked at me and was like, you nervous, Mum? But yep. You're going to talk to some people. It's fine. <laughs> there we go. So we need to make sure we've got a nice, thin, even coat. And we're not going to cure this one. Okay. Now, the design that I did... Featured all the new colours, so Vagabond is your base, all the new colours, and actually we did some white and some black. Have I got the black pool to hand? Have I heck? So we need some cream puff and some black pool. Go over to my enormous polish rack, 
actually later for anyone who's interested I will show you my enormous polish rack it is taller than I am I had it commissioned which I think is awesome I'm glad Melissa said that she gets a bit nervous when she and Holly do Facebook lives okay I'm just going to get you to move slightly for me I'm just going to decant some colour out love it, grandma's telling you you're doing a good job Meg, that's great and me <laughs> and me mum you want my, oh, Kirsty Algoon is saying she wants my polish rack, she saw it the other night so um, yeah, I had this enormous polish rack commissioned, which I, I met this guy at the show back in October, actually, and just said, this is what I want to do. I have no idea if it can be done. And he said, try me, let's give it a go. So yeah, he actually, weirdly, as much as he's down in, at London, you know, in London at a show at the time, he said, oh, I'm not from round here. I'm from Stratford-on-Avon, which is eight miles from my house. It's actually my original hometown. So it was a bit of a, a moment of fate, and uh, yeah, he made me this rack, which is amazing. There we go. Okay, so I'm just de decanting some colour out at the moment. Um, now each colour needs to be a reasonable amount there so I can play with it. There we go, and I'm going to use an S2 brush, my Lacente S2 brush, or S1 brush even. Dear God, Jenny Smith will be chuckling to herself. Picture of my rack, please. Absolutely, I'll try and show you all towards the end, actually. Right, so you'll see, all I've done with this is alternated lines of colour. All right. What is his phone number? What about the rack? Do you know, this guy is brilliant. Um, he did a lovely job of it. I got him to make mine and I said, would you put them into production? Because if ladies wanted to get them, um, you know, can I give you a number out? And he said, I'll think about it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So when I'm loading my brush, I'm pulling it forward and just turning forward just because if you pick up a glob you end up with a sort of a bulbous part if you pull forward just get a nice neat even amount the only time show us your rack is perfect Do you know what I'm gonna say it I've got a great rack it's massive I've got a big rack it's impressive everyone wants to have a look at my rack so we get all the rack jokes out of the way now anyone else <laughs> will I be getting commission from him oh probably not I'm a bit soft for that okay so into our wet shellac, we are just drawing a little line across, nice and neatly. Okay, you can go across from the other side with shaky hands because you're nervous. Okay, you can see here it's not perfect, so I can just go in detail. And every time I come out of a colour, I'm just going to wipe just to make sure that my brush is nice and clean. Get this into, into shot because you can see. I'm just loading my brush the same way for each colour. All right, so then we go in, place, and pull across. Wipe my brush. Place, pull across. This does not need to be perfect, and you'll see. Then black pool. Place. Pull across. Again, if you were concerned about perhaps getting some on the skin, you can mask the skin with a little bit of micropore tape or some of that stuff that you get in a little polish bottle. What's it called? The liquid latex stuff. Just depending on obviously whether anyone's got any allergies, you need to check that one out. Okay, so yep, just drawing lights at the moment. That's not too challenging, is it? And there's loads of ways that this can be adapted to do different things with it. Loads and loads. Jenny, are you saying your rack's more impressive than mine? Just saying, babe, size is everything. 
Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> Mine is so big, ladies, that it can't be wall mounted. It's floor standing. That's how huge it is. Not to say that I am a bit addicted to buying all my colours and didn't want to run out of room. Of course, that's not me at all. <laughs> okay, place, ball. Reload, place, ball. Just remembering to wipe in between each colour because we don't want to get like a nice pink going in this next one, for example, where I'm now going into the white. If we had some offbeat left in there, that wouldn't be clever. I'm lucky that I'm not having to uh, put my brush down to keep wiping. I have a mini PT with a pad in her hand. Everyone needs a mini PT with a pad in her hand. Good evening, Justine. Hi. <laughs> Jenny, I'm going to let you have that. Your rack is blingier. Mine's the bigger, but yours is blingier. For sure. There we go. Let's see what we can squeeze down into the bottom here. Now I did this the other day and then immediately thought it would actually look really nice instead of black to have a brown, just to have that sort of more earthy look to it. So definitely consider that if you're going to have a go. And you can do this with all manner of colours, just play. I do find you need a reasonable contrast. If you go in with things that are all too similar, you don't get a great contrast. So can everyone see clearly? I'm going to turn the nail to the side. Christina Sandon. Well, I tell you, I am privileged. Good evening, Christina. I don't know what time it is where you are, but hi. Christina is Team CND, everybody. So we're going to place the brush at the side and pull forward. And I'm going to leave a reasonable distance. Place the brush again. Pull forward, hopefully nice and smoothly and without too much shaking. So some of you may have done this when making a Bakewell tart or something like that. Just need to keep dampening my brush to make sure my bristles sit together nicely because what we don't want is for them to splay and end up with a fan effect. I want them to give us a nice straight line. It's 3pm in Iowa. I see. Good afternoon then, ladies. There we go. We see how it's working now, guys. Super easy. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be doing it, I can assure you. Okay, now that looks fine, but it doesn't look like this. Okay, so what we need to do now is in the spaces that we've created between our lines is we need to go exactly the opposite way and just try and get that down the middle. I'm just gonna get a damp pad. I've got just a disperse pad here. So I'm just going to keep just dampening my brush off just to make sure my bristles all sit together so I get a nice point and they're not splaying out. Okay, place and pull upwards. Okay, cleanse my brush. Place in the centre again between those two lines, pull upwards. I think it makes all the difference going the opposite way, don't you? Okay. Yeah, you might have known this would be inspired by food. I do like food quite a bit. So this really is a, a food thing. It's like Bakewell tarts. And then turn and just get that little one in at the side. There we are. What do you think? It's fun, huh? Now clearly all of that is wet shellac, so we're going to place that one into the lamp. A little peep first. Okay. Not bad considering I am shaking. <laughs> Those times where you say to yourself, why do I volunteer for this? Should have left it to the, uh, the pros. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you like it. Okay, 
So I will top coat that with a normal top coat. And then for those of you who voted design one a little while ago, let's keep you guys happy too. And let's show you that. Ah, oh, Justine, you're a sweetheart. <laughs> I love it. All my CND sisters are all like logging in. I mean, say hi, giving me some support. Love you all. Ah, look at all this. You are a pro. Such a pro. Yeah, come on, let's own the pro. <laughs> all right. So quickly top coat this one because we like things to be finished. All right. There we go, Mini PT. Back in the lamp. <laughs> so many lovely comments. Oh, I'm feeling the love, guys. I'm feeling the love. Amazing. Let's get myself all organised because I am a pro, everyone. So I'm going to get myself all organised for my next one like the pro I am, just saying. Okay. So the next design we're going to look at is this nice stamped one. Okay. And we're going to use the Yours Loves Sasha Gossen Mandala Mania plate and the Halo Stamper. We're going to need our lovely uninhibited shellac to put the second coat on. We've already painted a first coat earlier just for time. And I will need Vagabond, Gypsy and Offbeat in Vinylux. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Right, so earlier we've applied one coat of our uninhibited shellac. Let's go in with a second. Just try and make sure I've got any little bits of fluff that Mini PTs managed to get on these out of the way. <laughs> you chuckle to yourself, Mini PT. I know you're sorry. <laughs> the quietest we've ever known Mini PT to be. This is impressive work. We'll have to do this live thing more often. Or maybe I should just sit here and pretend we're live when we're actually not. Problem is she's too tech savvy and she'd know. But it's a great way to keep your teenagers quiet, everyone. There we go. Whoop. This plate is actually not Mindful Mandala. I love it. Something Gemino's. Awesome. We are Mandala Mania. Okay. Mindful Mandala is awesome. And it's one I use. Uh, but that's Mindful Mandala there. Okay. The one I'm using this time is Mandala Mania, which is a Sasha Gossen plate. Too many mandalas. <laughs> Mini PT shaking her head at me. You can't have too many mandalas, apparently. Andrew's glad that Meg spoke. We were worried you'd cut her hand off at the wrist. <laughs> it's tempting. Um, it's a beautiful hand. I could frame it. In fact, if we were going to design a practice hand, this would be the hand. You need this plate, Gillian. It's a nice plate. We like this. There's loads we can do. So actually, the middle design here, um, before I go into what I'm about to do, this one here is how we created this look. For anyone who saw that on social media earlier, my sister-in-law uh, very beautifully modelled for me. The Queen herself, Gigi Rouse. Good evening, Gigi. Say good evening to honey. Hi, Gigi. 
Mini PT is being an amazing model. She's behaving herself, which is more than I'm doing. Right, okay, so we have now two coats of our CND shellac in uh, uninhibited that have been cured. And I'm going to stamp an ombre type effect. Hopefully first time. Let's hope I don't have any slip-ups. I've done really well so far. No swearing, no slip-ups, no mistakes. It's all good. <laughs> if I have time, will I show the other one? I can absolutely talk you through the other one very, very easily. And if I do have time, then I will. Um, I suspect, however, people want to see the one that's on Meg's other hand. And I did say I'd do about an hour and a half. And here's me still gabbing on. And we're already at an hour and a quarter. Time flies when you're having fun, kids. That's the way it is. <laughs> She's laughing at me now. Child, I gave birth to you. A little respect, please. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. Now. I'm going to commit a horrible, horrible crime now. And that is just to overlap that slightly but I will wipe my brush before it goes back in the bottle all right this is where it'll go horribly wrong even though I've done this several times and it looked beautiful before okay now vinyl looks as we know dries quite quickly but I am just going to swipe over a couple of times to make sure that we've got that kind of nice blurred effect and pick up can we see I think we can see how nicely pigmented that is can we see it everyone yeah now, if I'd have been sensible and paint, um, stamped that over something like white, you'd have seen this ombre effect much better earlier. But you couldn't, because I was daft and put it over and inhibited. So you probably wouldn't have made that mistake, you see. Can we see that okay? Now, you'll see there's a little area here from the design below. I'm going to use, oh, she says, shaking the uh, camera. Use my little lint roller just to take that out. I don't want that, so let's take that out of the way. I can set that aside, it can happily dry, it can do what it likes, that's fine, because the tacky film on our cured shellac will grab hold of our dry polish that's on our stamper. Mm, swearing there's still time, Kirsty. I'm so glad you have such faith in me. Massive faith in me. Can we see this love, everybody? All the faith that I'm not going to swear. Mm-hmm. Zero faith, that's what she's got. <laughs> okay. That picked up nicely. And then the beauty of the halo stamper, of course, is that we can place it as we wish. Gosh, that reminded me then of that film. What was that film? As you wish, he kept saying. What was the film? Can you remember? I remember. Yes, you can. Someone's going to come up with this now, and you can with the guy who, oh gosh, it's so annoying. This film, honestly, right, okay, someone's going to come up in a minute and they're going to go, yes, yes, yes. Princess Bride. Yes. Well done. Oh, you read it. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, thank you. I was like, well done, Mini PT. Oh, she's just I read it because Melissa said so. I used to love that film. Yeah. As you wish. Oh, look at me knocking the camera again. This is just to make you all feel dizzy, peeps. <laughs> there we go. Right over. So again, just pressing those little portions down that are perhaps a little bit loose. Can we see that? How's this looking to everyone? Can we see that? Yeah? One of your favourite movies. Love it. I haven't seen it for years. We bought it. Need to get that back out. It would look great with gold stamp polish. Now you could do this with gold and silver. You could do it with so many things. And the great thing with creative play is you can be creative and you can play. Who knew? <laughs> Who thought of this name? They got it right, didn't they? So you could use all manner of colours and different bases and you can just have fun. And that's what we love about it. 
Now I chose on the Colourpop to top coat with the matte top coat, so I shall do that again. Okay. A little bit more on my brush. What we don't want to do is drag our finish, so I'm just loading my brush well. Oh, this has been a lovely way to spend my Sunday evening. Um, like I say, Tuesday morning, 7am, I'm going to be in hospital, ready to undergo a nice general anaesthetic. Well, my version of. I can't have one, so... <laughs> be having some clever method of anaesthetizing me to have a big op and then I'll be very 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 bored for several weeks while I'm recovering so I'm relying on everybody to have a real play with their colors when they get them do lots of amazing nail art and tag me so if you're on Instagram I'm at lady ptcnd same thing here on, on Facebook I've got a Facebook page Gemma Pinfield Thomas CND education ambassador which again you can find if you go at lady ptcnd um, and actually on Instagram, if you uh, put the hashtag, hashtag Lady PTCND, I'll find it. So that'd be amazing. It'd give me something to look at and be really pleased that you're all enjoying your colours and enjoying your different techniques. Are you going to sneeze? Bless her, she is flapping like a bird. It's making the camera shake and her eyes are watering. If you're going to sneeze, just let it go, kid. Oh, just hi. let it go. <laughs> gone there's nothing worse than swallowing a sneeze oh thank you Gigi. okay right out with that one my word it is just gone 20 past nine and i have managed to do three nail looks not swear not drop anything and i've not even sung anything either this is unprecedented everyone Okay. Right, final look. Now they both run on the same principle. Okay, so I know we've said I'd like to see this done. This is a very basic version of what we achieve here. Okay, so it's the same technique used for both, I promise. So if we work with the white that we have here, okay, and this design, then I'll get, even if I get part way through, it's just going to allow you all to see how it's done. And you, I promise you, it'll be very, very clear how to do the other one. Was what a dig. <laughs> oh, I didn't drop anything. <laughs> no, Jenny, it wasn't. I was just genuinely delighted that I haven't dropped anything. But now you come to mention it. <laughs> Poor Jenny, uh, when she did her Lacente Live, might have dropped an entire pot of a rather beautiful chunky pearl glitter, um, which she told me about the other night. So I didn't feel quite so bad if I was super clumsy and dropped something. That's friendship for you. That's what that is. As proper sisterhood. Okay. We've got horrible dispersed splodges on here. Let's just pull this this way and fold. There we are. Okay. So our cream puff here. Let's place another coat on here. This is going to be the worst for the fluff, miss. White is not very forgiving with the fluff. I love this child, everybody. But I did say to her when I painted these nails, child, damage these nails in any way or get any fluff on them and we are no longer friends. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Who's the best mama? Ah, oh, amazing, even though, even though I'm publicly shaming you for the fluff. No one can see the fluff. I'm loving that. It's good. Woo. Okay. Now, I've been a bit naughty. Just got a tiny spot just on the skin there, so let's take that out of the way. Pretend it didn't happen. There we are. Into the lamp for me. That's lovely. I'm so glad you guys can't see the rest of my desk right now. It's not its usual level of tidy, I'm not going to lie. 
Whoop. I didn't drop anything. <laughs> I definitely didn't drop anything, Jenny Smith. Definitely didn't just knock a bottle of matte top coat over you, thankfully, with the lid on. Are those Meg's natural nails? A girl should never tell. <laughs> Meg has a very thin overlay on her nails. They are naturally quite flat. Uh, a couple of them have a tendency to curve up ever so slightly at the edge. So she has a very thin overlay on them. But they are a beautiful shape and she has got beautiful hands. But she is very young. There is time yet for her to get haggard old hands. <laughs> but now is not the time. Beautiful hands. Okay. So yeah, we've got our coat there. You can have your hand back for a moment, Mini PT. So long as you do not, I repeat, do not get fluff on that finger. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. So back to creative play, black and forth. And our scraper and our halo stamper. All right, we're going to pick up this design in the top. She says, I'm pretty sure that was the one I used. Want a good amount of colour on here, actually. Okay. There we are. So that's the design picked up. Don't move your hand, Meg. Don't move it. Auntie Jenny says, keep your hand where mum can't uh, slap it. There we go. Okay, just clean my plate. I'm then going to use different creative play. Can we borrow your other hand for a minute, Meg? Great stuff. Different creative play to colour in, really, all of these little gaps and some of our new vinyl looks as well. So we have some offbeat, tiny, tiny amounts of offbeat in this nice zigzags. We have some vagabond. You can see this creamy, sandy yellow here. Really isn't a yellow. What she doesn't give you a kick under the table. Okay, we've got a teeny, teeny little touch of our um, uninhibited. Teeny, teeny touch of our gypsy as well. That didn't sound right. A teeny touch of our gypsy. Okay. But also these two beauties here. So you've got Navy Brat. Navy Brat is one of my favourites. If you love stamping and you haven't got Navy Brat, you need this in your life. It's fabulous. It also happens to be pretty much identical to Winter Nights. So I use this quite often where I will paint the nails in Winter Nights. Um, then I'll put the Lacente layer it on, cure that, stamp in creative play navy brat and then I'll go over with a chrome um, and you get a fantastic finish because I'll use chrome on part of the nail and then it fades into the winter night. It's really really fun so it's an absolute must buy as Kirsty so rightly says. If you don't have navy brat you need to add that to your collection, it's fabulous for stamping. But also I love this, this is called steel the show, steel as in the metal. Okay, really pretty and it's sadly a bit lost on here it's the tiniest little accents that we're using it for but hey I had to get it in somewhere I'm going to use my Lacente D2 brush to be able to detail All right. I'm also going to use some dotting tools I don't know how many of you have got the dotting tools that Sweet Squared stock you get five in a pack they have this marbled finish on the handles have we got these? If you don't have them, I think they're fantastic. I use them all the time. They go with me to classes, out in spas, wherever. I think they're ace. Um, they're also really great for using if you're doing a French on teeny tiny toes or very, very short nails. So they're, they're just brilliant. I think they're, I'm going to quote a price now and then get shot. I'm not going to quote a price. I'm going to let Rachel quote the price. <laughs> but they are a few pounds um, and then VAT. And they're just fab and you get five in a pack and they're all different sizes on two ends so you've got 10 different sizes which is ace okay so i'm going to decant some product out let's 
start with our pretty blue. This does not need to be perfect. My colour pop was pretty perfect. Um, when I came to do Mini PT's nails, it didn't come out as perfect as it did on the colour pop. It's not the end of the world. I'm not going to cry about it. Overall, they still look cool. I think you'll agree. So hopefully you can see. I'm literally, it's just like I'm colouring in. Just using my dotting tool. a massive blob less pressure we're going to get a lighter dot if you think you've got too much you can dot some off by pressing onto a pad or onto a surface and then go in and you'll get a smaller dot yeah okay we then have some little like teardrop shapes really so I want a tiny amount of product on here in fact I'm going to use the smaller end so you've got this really lovely pointed end if you can see that I'm going to pick a little product on there, place and pull up, place, pull up. And this could get very boring sat watching me colour in. So I won't do the whole thing for you. Oh, good evening, Auntie Fee. Thank you. I've got massive shoes to fill. Seriously. Weefy does such an amazing job. There was all sorts of pressure. I have to say, though, we love Fee, and she was on the phone to me for ages, loads of advice, loads of stuff I've probably forgotten. Oh, broadcast interrupted. I hope not. Are we back? We're back? It said broadcast interrupted. Hopefully you didn't lose me for long. Well done, Mini PT, for spotting that. That was probably because I'd started praising Fee and saying how lovely she was and what a lovely friend and been on the phone to me and giving me lots of advice. I'm not going to fill a whole section, the whole area of the stamp, sorry. I'm just going to fill a section in just to make this quicker because otherwise you're going to be here waiting for me all night to fill it in. Okay. A little bit of gypsy. Make sure to place your hand here so everyone can see what I'm working on. Hopefully everyone can see it there. Okay. And then these little tiny dots in here. I don't know how much of this you can see. It is quite precise. But with the other design that we were asking about, with the dots, it's a much more simplified version of this. Um, so I've picked up the design in white and just filled in with white and gold. Very, very simple. I can do a tutorial or a step-by-step -step if anyone wants it. But honestly, I think once you've seen this, you'll be more than away with what you're doing and, and know what you're doing. I'm not using any shellac at the moment, so the base colour that I've put on was cream puff in shellac, so that we've got a tacky layer that's cured that we can um, transfer our design onto. I'm now using all Vinylux, so these are all Vinylux and Creative Play, I should say. So these from the Boho Chic collection that you see me using, they are all Vinylux. Got carried away with myself then, I thought one was a different colour. So we have Navy Brat Creative Play here, we have Steal the Show Creative Play, those two there are Gypsy and Offbeat Vinylux, and I will be using Uninhibited and Vagabond as well. And get some Navy Brat. Can we see what I'm doing here? Is it clear enough? I know there was issues with blurring and the imagery when uh, Noreen did her live a little while ago. She did a grand job, but... Um, I know there were some issues with the picture quality, so I just want to check you can all see what I'm doing. Rather than just being able to hear my voice and not see anything, which wouldn't be so great. Okay. 
You can. Oh, thank you, Hannah. together nicely so we filled in some really really tiny areas I've now got some larger areas to do that are lines rather than dots so I'm going to use our D2 brush and just pull the colour out so we don't end up with a blob love that word blob it's a great word nice distribution of colour rather than just a globby bit now I've gone on the back of that blue dot, but it's not the end of the world because the blue is on top, effectively. It's underneath here, but when it goes onto the nail, the offbeat is what will hit the nail first. And the steel, the show, is still going to be on top of it, of course. So you won't see where I've gone over the back. And then we've just got a little circle towards the middle that I like to fill in, which is just here. Great point of reference and just happens to be perfect place to pop a Swarovski crystal. And who doesn't love a bit of sparkle? I know Jenny Smith does. Got a bit of vagabond detailing to do, and we are ready to transfer this onto the nail. So, just turn my lid round, which is acting as a little palette. Get some vagabond fine lux. How much would I charge for this type of design? Um, with any nail art, I'm always looking at my hourly rate, really, um, and trying to work out how long each design takes me. This is not the type of thing that is done very, very quickly. Clients know that. You could pre-design um, and have them ready on the stamper, especially if you've got a couple of stampers. And sometimes I do do that if people let me know beforehand. But I know what I want to earn as an hourly rate. I'm then going to separate the hour up into sections. If something's going to take me 15 minutes, I'm going to charge a quarter of my hourly rate. If something's going to take half an hour, I'm going to charge half of my hourly rate and so on and so forth. Um, and I know amongst nail techs there is always that real worry about charging for services but truly I don't go into a shop and say well I really want a Louis Vuitton handbag but I can't afford one but I want one so I'm going to have one no no I have to go to TK Maxx and get one from June instead because I can't afford a Louis Vuitton it's just it's that, that thing really um, you don't quantify what you're doing based on your materials either we have art that hangs in an art gallery that contains very little in the way of materials, but it's worth immeasurable amounts more than other artwork. And that's down to, I'm, sorry, I'm glad to say Jenny's saying she'll do the same, uh, but that's down to the expertise, the creativity of the person who's putting it together. And yeah, that's, that's what people want to see really. We then have Vagabond. Now, if you know for sure that all this area is completely dry. You could, if you were brave, go in with your lovely big vagabond brush and just brush straight over that. It's a, a bold and brave move, but you could, like so. However, this is where our friend, the D2 brush, comes in um, because it's much easier to go in and do that. And you can, as much as it's a skinny little brush, we can still cover a larger area. Everyone's got their favourite brushes for doing things. You could come in with all manner of brushes, a G2, 
sorry, G2. I don't mind about G1. But yeah, it's just easy to do this too. So I'm covering just to this circle here, just to give a background. You'll notice there's several areas that I haven't covered. Just want them to be able to show through as white, really. Um, white really beautifully shows off the detail in this particular design. So it's quite nice to have some areas just left white. That's more than enough to do the area of nail that we need to cover. And then you can always turn over and have a little peep and just see how your design's looking. My phone is going into low power mode now, guys. You know what that means. It means soon, soon it's time. <laughs> and I did say an hour and a half and we've gone slightly over anyway. Okay, so I'm going to let that just dry on the stamper for a moment while I tidy up. I will transfer that over to the nail in a minute. And when I've done that, it'll be top coat and good night, everybody, is what it will be. Oh, thank you so much for your lovely comments, everyone. Get it on the nail quick. Get it on the nail quick before the, uh, the battery goes. No, we're on 20%. I think we're good. All right. So just to run through, we've covered this one, this one, and this one. Okay. The crystal, I set into the wet top coat and cure it. Um, may want to then go in with a D1 brush or a little fine brush and just put some more top coat around the edge and cure again. That's absolutely fine. Whenever I place a crystal, actually, I will push it into the top coat and give it a little wiggle. Um, and that just normally creates that little ring of top coat around. Or plug your phone in. I would, but it's on this stupid stand. The one that keeps wobbling. Amazon's finest. Okay, here we have got a, a foil design. So this is actually stamping with shellac. So I have done our coats of gypsy, cured them, top coat, removed the tacky top film, stamped with shellac. Of course, we would mask off the film if we're going to stamp with shellac or remove the areas from the stamper that we don't need. We don't want to be plastering the skin in uncured product. Cure it. And then because only the cured shellac, it was Blackpool that I used for this, only the cured shellac is tacky then that is where the foil will stick to. So transfer the foil over and top coat. Okay, this one here that I did say I'd explain is absolutely the same principle as what we've done here, but on a much, much more simpler basis. So we've picked up the design again from Mandala Mania plate. I'd love to see how quickly these sell out now. Um, but this design at the bottom, I've picked it up in I blanked out. I've then dotted in with I've blanked out and let's go antiquing. In fact, if you haven't got that lovely gold and silver, they're amazing in creative play. Okay, really, really simple. I've dotted them onto the dotting tool, uh, with a dotting tool onto the stamper and then just transferred the whole design over like I'm going to with this one. So I promise you it's the same principle. This very basic, just line drawing, dotting, just playing. It actually looks like a fierce little face now I look at it. <laughs> this one we've seen. And this one here. Again, very, very straightforward. Offbeat. A little bit of gold and white iridescent, which I love, which fades down. And then stamped over the top with Let's Go Antiquing in uh, Creative Play using that fantastic Yours Loves Fee twisted garden plate. Okay. I haven't left anyone without any information there, hopefully. Hopefully you know what to do with all of them and you'll do them far better than me. Here we go. All right, so hopefully this is dry enough and I'm not about to make a complete plonker of myself at the last hurdle. I'm gonna just line up and see exactly where this needs to sit and then transfer the design. I get to choose which bit I want to use, which is lovely. Okay. Do you want a crystal on this one, Meg? I don't mind. Don't mind. Why not then, let's go Swarovski. Can we see? Hopefully you can see through there. There we are. You can see if it's transferring nicely. Don't panic if you get some overhang like this. It's fine. All right, gonna get your G1 brush. Again, press and pat your design into place. Make sure it's adhered down nicely. This was still a touch wet. It does like it does like to be dry when you transfer it across to your tacky shellac. 
So if you can pre-prepare them, fantastic. If not, then normally I'm preparing them because I know early enough in the appointment we've then got the hands going in and out of the lamp for the layers of colour and it's, it's easy enough to slot in preparing these. Again, my precision probe is just really useful to detach any pieces that are overhanging here. neighbour's dog's barking. That is an absolute miracle actually, just thinking of it. I have two rescue dachshunds in the house who normally will not be away from my side if I'm in the house and my husband has diligently sat upstairs for the past hour and three quarters <laughs> with the dogs convincing them not to bark. <laughs> now this will come off, I could probably pick it off now but when we come to wipe the nail it will come away anyway. But let's top coat this. and then we'll set a little crystal in. And then it will be time for everyone to go to bed. But before we do that, once we've got this cured and settled in with its crystal, who would like, all puns intended, to see my rack? See if we get enough demand. What a clever daughter I have. Oh, Mummy, I do love you. For those who don't know, Mummy works with me sometimes. She's currently got trigger finger, bless her. She's got to have some surgery. But she comes and she assists. She makes the tea. She wraps up people's nails. She's wonderful. Okay. Only the best for me and my ladies. So we have our Swarovski elements. Size SS9. These are just the clear crystal rather than the Aurora Boreali. People want to see my rack. Okay. Mini PC, you are 13. You should not be involving yourself in such smut. Okay, I have a sticky picker here. Sticky picker is rather clever. Polish rack. I know, the polish rack. So we can push it down and nestle it in. There we go. All right. Pop your hand into the lamp, Mini PT. Whoop. Oh, the school's going to give it a good knock at some point. There we go. All right, so I will just get a tiny little fine brush, probably the D2, tiny bit of top coat, run it around the outside of that crystal and pop it back into the lamp to cure. Um, once, that's one, that, once that's cured, just to make sure it's really secure. But we'll give you one last peep at Minnie PT's hand when she comes out of the lamp. And then, yes, you can all have a little look at my rack before we go to bed. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to try, she says. This can only go wrong, can't it? I'm trying to remove that bit there so that everyone can see it without having to. Oh, it's just going to peel off anyway, look. Let's remove that out of the way. There we are. So we can see it looking a little bit finished. I don't want to wipe it over properly at this stage because obviously I'm going to just run around the crystal. Okay. Have we enjoyed those? I hope everyone's enjoyed them. Thank you so much for your lovely comments. It's been great. I'm going to let you have a last little look at those. Then we're going to uh, have a peep at the rack. I did run over a little bit, but I did start late. So there you go. You got your time back. <laughs> All right. One last look. Meg, you are an amazing hand model. Just saying. <laughs> she hasn't got a makeup on everyone, so I'm not going to show you her face. She would, uh, she would hide. Mm -hmm. You're going to hide behind your hand. <laughs> Give a little wave. A little backwards hand wave. <laughs> my beautiful daughter, everybody. Right, so, didn't promise I'd show you my rack. 
And I think to fully appreciate my rack, you need to see me next to it as well in a second. So there is the rack of wonder. Look at the size of that. I'm just saying, I have a huge rack. John Seaway standing next to it. No, no, because you're five foot six. Let's let's prove how tall it how tall oh, it is oh, by me standing oh, next to it. We can do this. That's one big rack. <laughs> With lots of colour in it. <laughs> Alright, I really hope everyone's enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, it's been great. Thank you so much for tuning in until nearly 10 o'clock at night. Please, 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 if you do any beautiful nail art, which you will of course, with these colours, pop them onto social media, tag me at LadyPTCND. I'd love to see them. I'm going to be bored to death. Um, I will put some tutorials out there in the next few weeks, no doubt, once I've recovered from the initial surgery. Um, because I'll be a bit sleepy for a while, but once I'm feeling well enough, I'll do some videos and I'll do some step-by-steps and then you can all see whether you like them and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.